Do you find it difficult to kind of wag your finger and you say you're going to do this or that when you look at, say, like a photograph of your entire front office? And as I say, it looks like a, a Romney family Christmas card photograph. So it would be very well, call easy. Call Sam. Do you have Sam's number? I do. All right, give him a call. Hello? Sam? Hi. Sam, live tape. It's Kirk Minahan on uh, Barstool Radio. Kirk Minahan Show. You have time for a few questions? Hey, Kirk. Uh, no, thanks. I appreciate you reaching you, you out. You sure? There. You sure? I just want to I get just two questions. Go ahead. Okay, good. So... <laughs> So the, the, the whole Tory Hunter thing, and I saw your statement, and I understand the, the situation, I suppose. But with, with those specific, like, it seems to me within the Red Sox tweet that you did and on the radio this morning, is it hard for you to actually confirm that the specific incident with Tory happened with the five people? I, I'm, can you restate the question, Kurt? Sure. So, the, so the thing with uh, the thing with Tory Hunter, which you talked about, with the four or five people yelling the M word at him down the field, and the people clapping and cheering around. Did you hear that specific story before? And were you actually able? Because you said you believe him, which I understand. Were you able to confirm that story? Do you have proof that that actual story happened? The, well, we we had had conversations with Tory, and and so we we believe Tory, and and we stated that this morning in the radio. Right, but the specific. So the so you have proof of that specific story. So are you going to release that? Do you have the history of that? Like, where, where, when, when was it done? I suppose. What year did that one happen? Yeah, well, Tori's uh, Tori's comments were related to incidents that happened over uh, a period of years, as we understand it. But that specific one, though, do you know when that was? No, no, we don't. Oh, you don't. So you so you don't. Okay, so you're not sure if that actually happened or not. We we have uh, that's not an incident that we investigated or have specific proof but we've had lots of conversations uh, over the years and had conversations with Tori and, and we believe him and um, we've got a great relationship with him many of our players do so is there addressed it. is there is there fear and like I I get like people say these words and it's awful and I've said for years cut you know kick them out cut their heads off do whatever you want is there ever any yep. fear of backlash that people are going to think that you're sort of calling your fan base racist when you do stuff like this uh, it's a fair question, and the answer to that is um, we, we've we tried to make it very clear that the incidents that we've seen represent a very small um, portion of the number of attendees, and I think we've improved dramatically across uh, Boston, across the country. These incidents happen everywhere as we're learning, as we continue to listen. Um, so, yeah, you, you want to make sure you're clear that especially those of us who are from Boston and, and grew up here and love this city, that you, this is not an, an indictment on um, Boston or Red Sox fans. In fact, as you learn more about these incidents, you realize that uh, they're commonplace and happen all over, and the conversation is important in terms of moving on from them. Do you find it difficult at times to talk about, you know, how all Black Lives Matter, which I agree with, I'm all, you know, great, you find it difficult to kind of wag your finger and you say you're going to do this or that when you look at, say, like a photograph of your entire front office. And as I say, it looks like a, a Romney family Christmas card photograph. I mean, is there going to be more <laughs> integration within your fan, within your front office? Because, I mean, it's pretty white when I'm looking at it. Yeah, we've, we've had a, a big effort to improve diversity throughout the front office, throughout our, our roster. It seems slow. I mean, no, I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot yeah, of white we, faces in years. We, 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 can, we certainly can always do better. I think everyone can do better in that regard. And it's something that, that we've worked hard on over two decades, and, and we'll continue to work at it. And the work definitely continues. But, I mean, so the general manager you hired is white. The manager you hired is white. You're white. The entire ownership group is white. I mean, is there going to be when, – when are we going to see change in that? I mean, if we're going to call for change, doesn't it start within? It definitely does. It starts from within, and – something that we've been committed to throughout our senior leadership and uh it's, how specifically it's we're committed to but well, specifically yeah, how we, is that how is that taking place though yeah we've uh we, we've had a number of uh, additions to our front office over the last several years but again it's, it's an area where we can improve and, and we're committed to doing that all right uh I, I appreciate you reaching out i didn't didn't uh didn't, didn't expect to hear from you this morning but appreciate it and uh thanks for thanks for calling okay thanks so much sam all right, be well. Yeah, oh, you bet, you too. There you that go. Surprising, Sam Kennedy. <laughs>